What is good, YouTube? We are back at it again. It's Keep versus the Stars, and we are just going to jump right into it. This is part two, the Evander Holyfield documentary. It is called Evander Real Deal Holyfield, Greatest Heart in History. Let's just get right to it, man. It's all about building to Mike Tyson. I'm more surprised mm -hmm. the way that uh, Holyfield has not. Right now, Holyfield is getting a Oof. All right. Fans are going Oof. Holyfield went out and destroyed any and Ugh. all competition. Boy, boy need buckle, boy. But down goes Rodriguez out of nowhere. Adelson Rodriguez is on the canvas. He's not getting up, and he's not getting up. It's all over. In two rounds, too. So he's showing that power now. Y'all say he ain't had. Well, if there's any doubt that Evander Holyfield possesses a knockout punch, you can erase all that doubt. He does it in one punch. Cleaning out the division and leaving Don King less and less ways to dodge the Tyson Holyfield. Yeah, yeah don't dodge it. Don King, goof ass. Can you remember? Tyson. I, I'm. Everything was about time. I would love to fight a Vander Holyfield, but by no means, right now. We jump through hoops. Right now, today, tonight. In the Come on, Mike. Tell, tell him, Mike. So tell when will tell we him, Mike. Just for good measure, Holyfield took a fight against undefeated KO specialist Alex Stewart. 1989. And it's a fight that gets completely overlooked. And you're fighting a guy that was born not a million miles from here, where we're sitting right now, Alex Stewart, who I think was 24 and 0 with mostly knockouts. You went about seven or eight rounds of him. It was brutal when it landed. And the first question for you is why would you fight Alex Stewart at that stage? Why? Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Is he finna lose to this dude? Round one, scheduled for 12. I feel. Let's go. So I wasn't afraid Oof. to take a chance. You know, I'm telling you, it's almost okay. like you bet on yourself. George got to fight back a little bit more. Okay, holy f Oof. Okay, holy f God damn, boy. He took Stuart Oof. apart. And once Oof. again, left no doubt who should be Mike Tyson's Oof. next opponent. Yeah. Oof. Boy, if you don't fall, let it go. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, due to a very severe cut on the right eye of Alex Stewart, Chief Ringside. That's a crazy cut. Tony Perez to stop the winner. And still, I agree. Stop that one. Champion, still number one contender, Evander. Real deal. Holy field. But then, one fateful night in Japan Bitch -ass changed Riddick the Bo. boxing landscape forever. James Buster Douglas had oh, KO'd Oh, I thought it was Riddick Bo. Tyson. It's Buster Douglas. Damn. James oh, I say Buster Riddick Bo. Douglas. That is right, folks. We are not kidding. James Buster Douglas with a devastating right uppercut. He followed that with a left cross and sent Tyson reeling in the 10th round. James Buster Douglas beats Mike Tyson. I wonder if that's what a phrase you a buster came from. With Tyson out of the picture, Holyfield would finally get his shot. He finna beat at the, the shit out of Buster Douglas. Titles. Some people are still saying, is he a true heavyweight? I think he is. I think both these men are terrific boxers, and I think they'll create one of the most exciting heavyweight championship matches in the last 15 years. The whole purpose was to, to get him a heavyweight title fight, that, that Project Omega. Mm -hmm. and, I, and as I told the Dubas, when the bell rang for the first round with Buster Douglas, their project is over. Celebrities showed up in abundance. Like Charlie Sheen. Is it worth it to sit in a one thousand dollar seat? Charlie room? Sheen? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of the benefits of our job. Tell me about the last time you took drugs. <laughs> you know, the last time I took drugs, um, I probably took more than, than than anybody could survive. Mel Gibson was also in attendance. This nigga Charlie Sheen was getting high high. 
and that it takes us back to that uh, period of Roman excess. Say what you want about Mel Gibson, but the son of a bitch knows story structure. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, it's O.J. Simpson. the baddest dudes on earth. You know, they can whoop anybody that's walking. And uh, Bill Cosby. That's a crazy, crazy lineup, bro. What a lineup. That's a crazy ass lineup. Quick and fast, Holyfield caught him with a nasty counter right. What? And just like that, it was over. It was over. What a shot by Evander Holyfield! Yeah. It was a Buster ass, ass nigga. Evander Real Deal Holyfield was now the undisputed heavyweight Salute. champion of the world. He returned to Atlanta a hero. Damn. A massive That was for him? Screaming fans. Take four. You bet I would. If it's a breakfast buddy from Burger King. The breakfast buddy sandwich. A breakfast buddy. What the f great tasting less filling Miller Light. It's Miller time. Hey guys, on me. Holyfield seized his moment in the sun. Here's for the senior citizen crowd. When I take that belt, it's going right here around my box. Foreman who demolished Joe Frazier to capture the world crown 17 years ago is making a remarkable comeback. I think they I think now they showed me this. Headed, he's recorded 22 victories on his way to another shot at the world title. And uh, I think they showed me this in a George Foreman. Heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield was in high demand. In what would be, at that time, the biggest payday in heavyweight history. George said, I may be old, I may be fat. But he said, here I is. Mark, with a 28-year-old Evander Holyfield, undisputed heavyweight champion. And for the first defense, he's I can't remember who won this fight. Foreman. The pundits were convinced the fight was more fast than anything. So a lot of people made a big deal about this as being a farce beforehand. I think Evander think Holyfield George, won this. Even though you say Holyfield is going to win, do you think Hol uh, Foreman has a chance to win this fight? But it took only a few rounds before no one was laughing. Hmm. Oh. Well, it's, it's thought, Nigel, that if it goes past four rounds, Foreman could be in some trouble. Because, of course, the whole game plan for Evander Holyfield is to wear George Foreman down. A drama mm. entitled, The Old Guy Hung In There. Took a beating, but went the distance. Kept coming and trying. Oof. Holyfield blasted Foreman, connecting clean, but Foreman kept coming. Oof. Oof. He beat Caillou ass. Seemingly impervious to pain. George seems to have uh, absorbed those punches in the previous round rather well, Dick. He uh, did. Surprisingly uh, well. Foreman mm. ate Evander's best shots and pushed forward. And though he was slow and plodding, his power could turn any fight oh. with a single punch. Well, here he comes. George is the Holyfield. George is Oof. Any who thought the bout was just for spectacle Oof. have been silenced. Those are the punches that are put down. Okay, George, do your thing, baby. Stay with him, George. Vander ain't going, though. Oof. Oof. Okay, oof. Oof. George Foreman just took some tremendous shots. Oof. 
Oof. Damn, George. George did his thing. Yep. Now let's get to the shits, the shits, man. All right, George, you did your thing, man. When we gonna get to Mike Tyson, man? Ultimately, Foreman was beaten on points, but the way he fought proved that the second coming of Big George Foreman was no mirage. Like the eighth wonder of the world. Never will you ever see this again. Sidebar. I got a great documentary on the career of George Foreman on this channel. I already saw it, bro. Like, sub, and I already click saw the bell. It, bro. it really helps me out. Oh, bro, you got a problem with my lights? Why don't you come tell me that to my face, then? There is a gentleman in the fire who claims you had some harsh words with him on the phone. Mm-hmm. Fresh Prince, bro. At last, the dream fight of Mike Tyson versus Holyfield would be set. Was to have been the biggest financial payoff in boxing history, albeit one of the most controversial. However, before the fight could take place, Iron Mike would be arrested and sent to prison. That's so crazy. He chose to fight the best young American heavyweight, Olympic silver medalist Riddick Bowe. Next up, that's where Riddick, Riddick Bowe come in. One of the wonderful Riddick Bowe finna beat Holyfield, right? Is that he is no great I'm pretty sure he won this fight. So, for that matter, does Bowe. Good left hook to the body back. He bent the Holyfield. And the left hook to the jaw. And Holyfield is quicker to the punch early in the fight. A fantastic back and forth. And you saw Holyfield land the mm. right hand lead. The right hand lead is a big punch in his arsenal tonight. He believes the way to neutralize Bo's overwhelming right hand is to beat him to the punch. With, and already Bo begins to hold Oof. his hit. And they brawl in the center of the ring. So, Let's go. Let's go. Holyfield by decision. Here's the uppercut mm. again. The mouthpiece is out of Holyfield. New heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, see, I had them mixed up. Buster Douglas and Riddick both. I know that both of them beat them. I just didn't know which one was which. But I was right, though. Look at her crying with her glasses on. This set up an equally savage rematch. A memorable fight. One thing I gotta tell you that's a pleasure for me about Oof. it. Oof. Cuts Holyfield with two overhand rights to start the fight. Oof. Infamously, a man parachuted into the ring mid-fight. Oh, I remember this. They did a parody of this on, like, The Simpsons and wrestling and shit. I remember that. Landed on the edge of the they beat that boy in brains in this craziness delayed the fight for 20 minutes. The fight resumed in round seven. Just go away from the slug fan. Another left right combination by Evander. That boy got that, that second win. Well, I guess they both did. It ain't like one was fighting and the other one wasn't, so. Boy Swan got to the bell. Fuck wrong with you, boy. Holyfield took the rematch and was champion again. Uh. For 11 years and 31 fights, nobody had ever questioned Evander Holyfield's heart. Next up, Michael Moore. At the onset. Hey, who was who was the one that was beating up Michael Moore? Who did I watch get who was beating the shit out of Michael Moore? I can't remember who it was. Tragedy struck. Evander slumped on a stool. Island and not wanting to go back out. What he didn't know at the time was that he had suffered what would later be diagnosed as a heart attack. Holyfield a suffered heart attack? a heart attack mid fight. He didn't know it. He just kept fighting. He stood in front of Mo what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Time the fuck out. This he had a heart attack. While fighting? You can't you can't just gloss over that, bro. You can't just gloss. He had a heart attack in the middle of the boxing ring, but just kept on fighting. No, he had a heart attack, bro. 
There should be more. Like, give me some more information about this heart attack. I need to know. Tell me more. Seriously. Took everything he had mm. and never went down. But the after the fight story was not the story of Evander's defeat. It was the story of his heart. A heart his wow. personal physician had diagnosed as a stiff heart. In this fight, his heart had failed him, not he it. Was not able to handle the fluid load and fluid built up in his lungs. Mm. That's when we realized he had a cardiac condition. After a lengthy recovery, Holyfield returned to action. During his absence, Mike Tyson had returned from prison and recaptured two of the three heavyweight belts. But trust me, I, my, my belief in theory in life is to destroy or be destroyed. Some people have sentimental favorite for Holyfield, but Tyson Jaws on favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a gambling man at all, but I do feel that Evander Holyfield is going to pull off like the, one of the biggest shots ever, shocks ever, because I just think he's going to have too much art, Zion commitment for Mike Tyson. You have to carry him out of here. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. Holyfield know what he up against. He know he know we don't play game. No he nobody here on Team Tyson play games. We don't play no game. We okay. not allowed to talk. We bring in the pain. Much anticipated showdown between Iron Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. And then um, once again I let everything go go away and I believe I was God. I believe I was great. I didn't believe I had to train for them. I thought they were afraid of me. At last, the fight we all wanted to see Come five on, years Mike. prior was set. Tyson was simply not the same after prison. Oh. Tyson, Holyfield, Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield going running, taking a shot. He's going for it. Damn, Mike. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Hey, would y'all want to see me do a Mike Tyson documentary? Everybody kind of know that. Mike Tyson's story, but what y'all want me to react to a Mike Tyson documentary? I'm pretty sure it's a million of them on here. Let me know down in the comments, man. And Holyfield mm. was able to bully him around the ring. Mike. Holyfield had done it. Oof. He joined Muhammad Ali to be one of only two men to have ever captured the heavyweight belt three times. Three times. A quick rematch was scheduled in Vegas. No lead up required. It was the highly yeah. discussed ear biting incident. So Tyson got oh, this is it? Confused, and finally, he just snapped to fit his ear. Awesome. Mm hmm. He's gonna jump. That's crazy. He started jumping. I want to get him back. I want to get him back. And he's gonna do it. He, he bit him once. They didn't stop the fight. Then he bit that nigga again. I remember that. Bit him again. Mike Tyson will fight again, and you'll pay to see him. But this time, you're going to pay twice as much. His tasteless performance against Evander Holyfield wow. spawned headlines like Reality Bites, Paper Chew, and Irresponsible. To say when the button Mike occurred, went out bad, man. and I thought I might lose because of a severely of a cut above my eye. I just, I just snapped. I've got an epic Mike Tyson doc mm. on this channel, so please help out, sub, click the bell, and watch stuff. Y'all want to watch that Mike Tyson doc? The ammunition. The winner would become the oh, Lennox Lewis, this boring ass. Claiming man. the WBA, WBC, and IBF straps. Hey, you know what it is? I don't like British fighters, man. British fighters to me is lame. They lame, bro. Everything about Britain is lame. They they rap music is lame. They boxing is lame. They food is trash. What the fuck is a Nando's, nigga? Don't nobody want that shit. Y'all, y'all, 
Everything that y'all do great, we do better. The only thing y'all got is soccer, nigga, and it's called soccer. That's the original name. You niggas tried to change it to football afterwards. No, it's called soccer. Y'all gave it that name afterwards. It was called soccer before it was called football. It's soccer, nigga. seeming to slip as Lewis landed the first punch of the bout. Controlling the action with his jab, Lennox kept Holyfield from getting in distance. Look at how unstoppable Lewis is when he fires the jab mm. with frequency. Round after round, Lewis was the aggressor. Connecting more. And you heard Emmanuel Stewart say, come up with the uppercut. Lewis lands a right hand. And causing the most damage. It was meant to be a coronation for Lennox, a real statement victory over another mm. legendary name. Not since Bob Fitzsimmons in 1897 has a citizen of Great Britain held an undisputed heavyweight title. We may be minutes away from that watershed right now. Of course, you see where I'm going with this. 115 to 113 in favor of Evander Holyfield. A draw, the decision is even a draw. Both champions retain their belts. Hey, you just made it seem like he was whooping him. That's a travesty. That is oh, I guess it was a bad a call. Travesty. Lennox Lewis Man, fuck that has just nigga. been robbed of the undisputed heavyweight he championship. Be I. He won it and he didn't get it. Let's think of this exercise as an autopsy, looking for clues to the crime, not the fight of the century. Did they examine the British judge who scored it a draw for traces of Don King's DNA? You threw three forty-eight punches. Holyfield through 130. Should the American judge who gave it to Holyfield be arrested or merely barred from ever setting foot in a boxing arena again? Days have passed since Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield met in Madison Square Garden, and still the firestorm of media criticism continues for the official decision which denied Lewis his apparent victory and left the heavyweight championship wow. fragmented between the two fighters. A rematch was demanded and set. I'm guessing Lennox Lewis gonna whoop him this time. Once again, the title of undisputed heavyweight champion was on the line. All right, fans, here we go with the rematch we've all been waiting for. Okay. Live from Las Vegas, it's time for the main event of the evening. We should have drama tonight. Holyfield is a legend Ooh. and a warrior, but on this night, he was simply no match for Lennox Lewis. Lewis able to stick the jab in Holyfield's face repeatedly. He's jumping in because of the distance. He can't get it. Lennox jabbed him into oblivion. Holyfield to watch his head as Lewis goes Oof. under and then over with the right hand. What the hell? Now Lennox fires the uppercut and throws Holyfield off. When Holyfield tried mm. to come in, Lennox mm. blasted him with the uppercut. And lands the uppercut again. He's just waiting on that uppercut now. Multiple punches for Lewis. Mm. Holyfield not throwing back in five more seconds of fighting. And the fans appreciate it. And the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. He had to get the dub. He's still British. Nobody cares. Why are you playing this up? ceremonious music for him? You gotta be able to take something to give something. Right. Well, you always could take it. Yeah. That was a big part of your, your career. You had an iron champ. In his prime, Holyfield was a warrior unrivaled, a brutal brawler with technical ability, limitless willpower, and an eagerness to take on any mm -hmm. and every challenger. Oof. Knocking niggas out. Mm. Call 
the greatest cruiserweight ever. Evander, Where they be falling, the real so scary, bro. Holy field. Evander, the real deal. Holy field. Well, that was Evander, the real deal. Holy field, the greatest heart in boxing or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed part two. Part one was good too. My full scope of it is is basically what I was saying. Like, you see these fighters like Evander Holyfield doesn't have the same cachet as in his name as he once did back in those days. So like when people say the greatest fighter, they don't even bring up Evander Holyfield. You know what I mean? You got Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, you know, different fighters from that era. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought Evander Holyfield was an amazing boxer. I thought he he did a great job fighting. I thought I thought that this did him a lot of justice because you can see how great he was and you see all the stuff that he went through going up through the ranks different from weight classes to get all the way up to being a heavyweight then to be a three-time heavyweight champion man salute to him i enjoyed this thoroughly um let me know what y'all think down in the comments what do you rank evander holyfield as far as boxers go you know different the different weight classes or just in general where do you rank Evander Holyfield? Also, give me another suggestion of another fighter you want me to react to. And if y'all want me to do the Mike Tyson doc, I will do that one next. It's been Key versus the Stars. And we out. Peace.